Sheila Canfield for the MTC Report, and we are here at the University of Washington at the Quad, very beautiful campus, and the anti-war on Gaza protest encampment is still going on, so we're doing an update. It's been happening for a couple of weeks now, so we're going to go do an update and see what it's like over there. So the encampment has grown over the last couple of weeks. It's getting larger and larger, and people are still active. It's a pretty warm day, so people are probably resting and trying to get out of the heat at this point, which I can understand. I'm hoping to get out on a kayak soon. Here is the, the demands. And more tents. But you know what? It's still worth doing. It's still worth saying something. Because they're so are there any latest updates? Can you give us sort of an update on what's going on at the encampment right now? And also, I heard something about actually having uh, met with administration at some point and they agreed to, what, half the demands or something? What is that about? Yeah, so I don't have the exact details on the negotiations, but what I do know is that we continue to be out here for Palestine. We, have, we are talking with administration because that's been the goal. We want administration to agree to these demands. And at some point, we're going to have to sit down at the table and talk to them. It seems that administration is willing to give up some concessions, but at the end of the day, they're still holding out on the idea that the University of Washington is going to continue to tie itself to a genocide. They now put out a statement last night asking us to voluntarily leave, and well, you can see where I am. I'm, I'm still sleeping in my tent at night. I'm still going to be here as long as it takes for Palestine. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. There are some beautiful trees here. This is one of the oldest, maybe. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful setting, definitely. It was a great place to be during the Cherry Blossom Festival earlier this year. We have the ubiquitous waterfowl who like to hang out here as well. I don't know whether they support the protest or not. I haven't interviewed them, so I'm not sure. They just look like they're really enjoying some great lush grass because it is very lush here at the University of Washington. It's a very, very beautiful campus. I love the uh, revivalist, you know, Gothic style architecture. Very reminds me of Europe, of course. And right in the middle of the quad is where the encampment is at. Free free Palestine. Free free Palestine. Free free Palestine. Free free Palestine. Free 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 Palestine. Free free Palestine. here by the artists. People have donated tons of food. Lots of food here and supplies. Keep people going. Tons of food. Of all kinds, fresh food. Got stoves. Are you guys in need of anything in particular right now? So we're witnessing a, a child's march, a children's march, a pro Palestine children's march going on here at the University of Washington at the Quad where the encampment is. As you see, they marched through the camp. <laughs> 